All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for tuning in to the Rich Chalenza Show. WTF are you talking about? So what I want to call this podcast is learn to build mental strength and physical strength will follow. Now you may be like, yeah, no shit, (laughs) right? Yeah, if I mentally get stronger, of course, I'm going to get, you know, most likely uh, a lot stronger physically, right? Especially if you're working out. And this is kind of what it's going to be more or less is working out orientated but it's also going to come into other play uh, into other areas as well in which i'll discuss but if you know anything about me i'm always trying to help people build confidence and in this case uh what what i really want to talk about is doing things extremely small at first to build confidence and building that mental strength that I think you need that will also follow uh, into physical strength. And that doesn't mean just working out. I shouldn't have said that. It can be whatever you want to do physically, right? And that can even be in your job. That could be even if you want to work on cars, uh, you know, having the energy and the confidence to do that. It could be whatever you're doing in life that you know, has that physical component to it. And I think a lot of people don't realize a lot of things we're doing are very physical. We just don't even realize it because we're just used to doing it. It could be even if you have to walk two miles to work or a mile and a half to catch a train, uh, or I don't care if you're walking in the airports a lot, or if you're, um, again, working out or hiking, or if you even have a hobby doing something physical, All these type of things, I think we don't realize how strong we really are. I talk about that a lot of my podcasts. You don't realize all the physical gifts you were given. Um, It's kind of like if you've ever looked at a bodybuilder from before and after. That's an extreme, but you kind of are like, holy shit, how did he evolve into that? And a lot of people may be like, oh yeah, steroids or, you know, supplements. But a lot of people, I never took steroids and I got pretty big and strong. And a lot of athletes go from one extreme to the other. How did they do that? Yeah, sure, they had genetics. But the truth was something in their mind made them believe they can become at a much higher level. So if, if you're like, like, like the average Joe, like a lot of guys out there that I meet and talk to, I think they were either programmed to not really believe in themselves from a physical you know, you know, not believe how strong they can be in many different areas of their life. And especially physically, either, and I've discussed this before on my podcast, they were told they were scrawny, skinny, weak, uncoordinated, got picked last when it came to sport teams or whatever the case may be. But you have to let the past be in the past and not give a shit about that. You are not that same person when you were younger. You're not even the same person yesterday compared to today. And all it takes is really like I was saying before, is very small changes that start to, you know, it really evolve. And it would be like anything else. Like if you started walking straight and you just moved a little bit to the left and started walking in a block or two, how far off are you from if you were just walking straight? Like it's, it's like you're now you went a totally different direction. And that's what I believe you got to do when it comes to building this mental strength in your head. Because a lot of times, you, you just mentally, where you're weak, it's not your body. It's you're mentally weak, if that makes sense. It, and I know that sounds kind of crazy, but now there are people out there that aren't the sharpest in the shed that are, have, are physically strong. But the funny thing is, they sometimes know they're strong, but they're not sharp in other things. Um, but in this case, we're going to flip it, and we're going to basically just concentrate. I shouldn't say flip it, but we're going to concentrate on the mental strength. And if you know anything about me, I'm always teaching people, again, to do things as slow as possible. Not, not stagnant, but slow. I talk about that when gaining or losing weight, especially losing weight, one pound a week, max, maybe even a month. But then you look after a year or two, how much weight did you lose? You lost it slowly. Gaining muscle, you know, if you gain five pounds of muscle a year, that is awesome. Um, whatever the case may be, I want you to do it slowly. So how you're going to build the mental strength is by slowly but surely, for one, being self-aware of what you're doing right now physically. That could be in or out of the gym. 
You may be shocked at how strong you are. I don't care if you're even a cleaning lady. I don't care if you're a maid in a hotel. I don't know if you do physical labor in a construction. Uh, if you're in the military, obviously, you know you're physical. But you have to realize a lot of things you're doing right now, you are a lot stronger than you think you are. And you can do a lot of things that you don't even realize you can do, especially from a physical kind of stance. And um, now if you want to, so hopefully you're understanding this podcast is about building more mental strength, you know, to become more physically, not fit, but stronger, is you're going to have to, one, like I said, be self-aware. And two, how do I improve on this? How do I push myself? Now, let's just take the gym, for instance, because I have to go into the gym to kind of make my points. When I see a lot of guys going to gym, they immediately start comparing themselves or competing with other people in the gym that are their same size or weight. And I tell people all the time, the only person you're competing with is yourself. Now, if you want to look at the other people as like, if they're stronger than you or more fit as somebody that you'd want to maybe, you know, get up to or they inspire you or that's somebody you'd like to, you know, be like, that is wonderful and that's great. But you have to realize a couple things here. One is how long have they been doing what they're doing? Two, genetics. Actually, there's three is like not only how long, but what did they do to get to where they're at? You don't know because you don't live their life. So as much as you may emulate or want to emulate them or be like them, most likely you're going to take a different path. Even if they gave you their workout regimen, most likely even if you did it, it would lead you to something else. It would not lead you to exactly who they are. It could be something maybe close. But again, what they put into it mentally, right? Again, they have different genetics. Uh, how much did they sleep? How much did they eat? Uh, all these different types of things. It all is different. So what you have to realize, you're your own person. You're only competing with yourself. But you have to start figuring out a pattern that is going to work for you to give you, you know, what you want to get out of this. So if you are truly looking to gain muscle, right? One is you want to, or or just get fit or get more physical. One is you never want to injure yourself. You want to push yourself as hard as you can, because I'm all about the intensity. You know, it doesn't matter how many times you work out a week, how many hours you put in a lot of times. No, what matters is how intense your workouts are, what you put your body through. That's really what it's all about because you can half-ass anything right you know that like i've described this on my youtube videos even on other podcasts if you did a slow jog for instance for a mile very slow yeah you're gonna uh, like it's almost as fast as a walk you're gonna get something out of that maybe but now let's take for instance you went and did 10 sprints right now uh for a certain amount of length you'd probably pass out at the end unless you're in really good shape that's intensity there's a big difference between the two But again, if you're, let's just say, wanting to improve on anything, and I tell people this, they want to improve sometimes very quickly because I think they either see things on television, especially when it comes to losing weight. You see the biggest loser stuff where they're obese, 400 pounds, and in a month they lose 30, 50 pounds and all these things. I wouldn't recommend that. You can do whatever you want to do, again, for your skin, for your heart, your body. You want to set a mind set where you are changing slowly but surely and your body accepts it and it doesn't go into shock but it realizes hey this is the route we're going we're going to be consistent with this and we're going to actually enjoy the ride not destroy ourselves along the way like a lot of other people I think that end up doing things physical at the beginning pushing themselves sometimes too hard where they lose interest or they're too sore or they don't see the results they wanted to see because they're unrealistic expectations and all these different types of things where if they just would have been consistent, right? You just want to be that damn turtle, I talk about it, that just keeps going forward. You do not want to be the rabbit that takes off at first, that goes left and right and all over the damn place and then falls asleep. You want to be the one that just is consistent every day, keeps moving forward, starts building the confidence and the mental strength I tell that even the guys that are working out a lot of times, I don't care if they're even, let's take weightlifting for instance, bench pressing, squatting, 
you know, they get in there and they expect every time they go in to do chest, well, I'm going to add five or 10 pounds. I'm going to add 10 pounds. I'm going to, I'm going to add 10 pounds. And then, and then they have these sticky points or they, they're not getting the results. I'm like, because you're increasing your weight too quickly. Just take your time. You got to realize too, a lot of times building mental strength or physical strength is a long-term game. It's not something that's going to happen in a month or two months. It takes years a lot of times. Don't rush it. I understand a lot of us want to get quick results, right? You'd love to be like in great shape in two months, right? Or you may see certain athletes and be like, yeah, look, I want to be like in their condition. I want to be something close to them or I want to, yeah, you have to realize they've been working out their entire life. They have professional trainers, coaches. They, it's, that's a lifestyle for them. Now, if you want to go after that, God bless. But it, it, as you know, if you look at anyone who does triathlete or, or triathlons, um, anybody who does anything, it, it could be marathons. I don't care if it's rock climbing. I don't care if it's bodybuilding, powerlifting. It is slow and it is consistent. And again, it is mental. It is not usually fast. You see these guys deadlifting. Uh, you know, the world's strongest guys, you may see documentaries on Netflix. I don't care if you've seen over the years, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, him becoming Mr. Olympia. You know how many years that took, how much training, how many hours, right? That's how you got to think about you building mental and physical strength, putting the time in. Now at the beginning too, I talk about a lot of times you get really good results sometimes for some people. This is really how I've seen most people my entire life. They either get shitty results at the beginning, it's just not happening for them. Genetics, and they can be working out super hard. I used to have a buddy that worked out more hours and longer than everybody. um, And he couldn't get nearly as big as any of us. We were just dwarfing him. Now I worked out really, really hard. Um, two, don't get me wrong. I think maybe he was fatigued or burning himself out, but the truth was he just couldn't get the results in his chest. He wasn't getting the results in his arms. He had decent legs, couldn't get the back, just wasn't happening for him. And I felt bad and he, he did grow. He got decent results, but you know, compared to us, he didn't, you know, but that's just the way that went. Then I seen other guys that sometimes start working out. And I'll just, they just get big and strong and it just, you know, it grab, it just works for them. Okay. And here's the thing regarding the guy who keeps getting bigger and stronger, especially at the beginning that eventually he will plateau. He will, I'm not saying he'll bottom out. That'll never, but he'll hit somewhere where say he started working out and he only bench pressed 135 for 10. Let's just say then his time went on, he's hitting 185 for 10, then 225 for 10, then 315 for 10 over the year years. Before you know it, he hits 385. Let's, I'm just using for, and then it's over kind of. Now, if he wants to go beyond that, he may have to start taking supplements, steroids, whatever. But now that's it, right? Because his muscles, his bones, his joints, everything, he is there. And I've been that type of person kept increasing, kept increasing. Then in my late thirties, I was like, this is over. Like I just, I knew I had to get on steroids. I also realized because I was working out for so many years, my joints, my muscles and everything, I'd taken a toll on it from like 14 to say 32. And that was it. You know, I, you know, I was bench pressing a lot of weight, but, and I also realized if I kept going further, I wasn't helping myself. I was starting to hurt myself. Uh, especially back to my joints and tendons and muscles. I was putting so much stress on my shoulders, my lower back, my knees, my ankles, all these different types of things. So no matter who you are, you have to realize too that you are going to hit a certain mark. It's not like if you go for a six-minute mile, say you make a six-minute mile, which is extraordinary. You think you're going to get five and a half, five, four and a half? No, there comes a point where a lot of times you're just going to hit that spot. And again, you have to have the mental toughness and the common sense to say, okay, now what is this about? Where can I improve? Because it doesn't look I can improve in what I I maxed out where I'm trying to improve on. But there's always room to grow. You can change a lot of different type of things. I talk about that even with people that run a lot of times. Um, They want to hit certain times and they can't. Then you may want to lose weight or it just may be over. But that doesn't mean, you know, you may want to start learning how to work out 
different types of things. You may want to learn yoga for flexibility. You may want to start swimming more. You may want to learn different types of workouts instead of just being caught up with one thing. And that goes for life as well. You want to, you know, put you know, put working out aside. I know I use that for example, but that could be at work as well or working on certain things. I think a lot of us build that strength uh, physically or even mentally where we hit a plateau and we're like, okay, I've kind of maxed out this situation. Where can I move on to evolve, to become even stronger? And the thing that you got to realize, it may not be in that same thing or that same situation. You may want to pivot and start trying new and different things. That's where the growth may come in. And if you've seen a lot of athletes going back to them or people in business building that mental strength or whatever, a lot of times they started one path and they thought that was it. Then they, they realized, wow, I'm, I'm pretty good at this, but let me pivot and try this. And then they exceed or they may fail, but they may start getting even, you know, more better at something else. And then you move somewhere else and you kind of are like a pinball kind of bouncing around uh, to different areas and you have to be open-minded enough. And by you building this confidence, this mental strength, it's, it's really going to, you know, help you deal with failing. Uh, it's going to help you also deal with success and, you know, that's really what this podcast was about. I wanted you to really acknowledge that. I believe taking your time, you know, not only with, you know, your physical gains, but it's really mental. You really just got to think and be very self-aware of what you're doing. And that takes time to do. Don't let anybody make you feel uh, weak physically, mentally, if they're doing that to you, I believe you need to get rid of them. Now, there's a difference between having a coach or someone that's trying to, you know, or maybe even in the, you know, the uh, armed forces, sometimes they break you down to build you back up. I could see that. That's, that's some, you know, that obviously works, especially when you're talking the military. They reprogram you into believing in yourself. And that's kind of what, you know, you should be thinking in your own mind is, kind of how to reprogram your brain because a lot of us think we're not as smart as we uh, we are or we're not capable of things that we really are capable of and that can be us doubting ourselves that could be also what people have said in the past but the truth is if you want something you got to go after it and it's going to take time to go after those things and realize a lot of times the way you think you're going to get to where you want to be may not be that route there's a lot of different routes just like a gps as you know, you know, you put an address sometimes in a GPS and it sometimes takes you all these wacky ways. You're like, what the hell? And the next time you use your GPS to go to the same place, it took you a totally different way. And then before you know it, you learn your own way on how to get there the quickest. And I'm just using that for an example, but that may happen in your life. So just something to think about. So I'm going to wrap it up there. If you like that stuff, I've been doing a lot of YouTube stuff uh, regarding these type of subjects, especially in the gym, trying to help people with their building confidence, actually, is what I should say, um, and being smart about what they're doing. But you have to believe in yourself. You've got to realize you have strengths, and you've been given a lot of different gifts. And uh, if you don't believe in them, then don't expect anybody else to either. And the only one who's going to realize uh, their gifts or their true sense of worth is by them believing in themselves. Nobody else, I mean, someone could sit there and preach to you all day, including me. If you don't believe it, it's all a waste, right? You have to believe it. Don't expect someone to take you to the promised land. And even if they do take you to the promised land, a lot of times, if you know people, it'll get you to certain places. You can't bullshit people all the time. You're going to get exposed. So definitely have the mindset to believe in yourself and learn to learn. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, I'm also on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. If you want, I'm on MasteringSelfConfidence.com, RichChalenza.com. Um, yeah, if you want to check me out there as well, that'd be great. Uh, if not, I don't blame you. Everyone's busy. You got to do what you got to do. Take care, and if you're traveling, safe travels.